بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now let's try to understand the Cisco's next generation firewall. We call this as a firepower. Firepower or firepower services what it offers. So Cisco combines the ASA. Now Cisco have an ASA as well. Combines the ASA. Now you can have your normal standard firewall features inside the ASA. And you or you can combine your ASA with the firepower services which are the next generation uh, features. which supports next generation ips advanced malware protection application visibility control or url filtering application filtering or application control these all features can it combine so either you can combine by using an asa as well as a firepower services and if you combine these two in today's network we call this as a ftd the firepower threat defense so that's what the product name we call it as so initially this cisco's firewall or ftd or firepower initially it was called as firepower now when we say firepower means it's going to provide you most of your next generation firewall features like like i said next generation features means application visibility all the url filtering options so if i'm using of only firepower now basically the firepower provides these features and you can combine this with the existing asa means either i can add a module like you have an asa and inside that you have a module and inside the module you can either add in the form of an hardware module or install some software in the form of a software and you can make your asa to do both the jobs so the traffic comes to the asa and it will be redirected for next generation ips or for firepower services and then send it back and that's how it works but cisco have its own dedicated product as well now cisco have like i said there are two options one option is you can combine your asa with firepower services or you can buy a dedicated product called ftd the firepower threat defense which has a unified code means whatever the code or the operating system which runs inside this ftd basically supports both the asa features as well as the firepower features so you you may see these two things like if you if your company is already using an asa and you want some additional firepower services you can add a module in the form of module or you can add a separate firepower device as well like if you see the options here because this little bit confusing because mostly people say firepower and then they add that firepower services on the asa and some people call it as ftd so basically you can in your network you can either have this these options here you can have a dedicated asa a physical hardware and then you have a dedicated uh, firepower which supports next generation ips and this asa will be responsible for doing all your standard firewall features and then your traffic may get redirected to the to the firepower for firepower services for verification and then send it back so either you can have two appliances that is one option you can have two appliances that is one of the option or you can have just one appliance like you can have an asa and this asa is added with a firepower module now this is a module not a dedicated device now this module can be in the form of a software or hardware Uh, whatever it supports because different platform supports different uh, different models i'll i'll talk about that in the models when we get into the firepower uh, product line and you can get the benefits of both so this is another second option so the second option what we are doing we are going to add the firepower services and this firepower services are added on on the one physical hardware so you have a one dedicated asa and you're adding on the top of the asa or the third option you can just go ahead and and just use something called ftd which is common nowadays so if you're going to buy a new product for you probably go go and buy the ftd device the firepower threat defense which has a unified image so there's a one image which supports both it supports both 
your ASA features as well as your Firepower services. So as you can see the, the category, the same what I explained just now. So you can have your NGIPS device. Uh, NGIPS device, this is a typically a Firepower device, a dedicated Firepower, or you can say this is running your old source file image, probably running any Firepower version it supports. And in your network, again, you cannot run, uh, basically they don't support the, the basic firewall features. So you still need an ASA to do this. So either you can add this, this thing, that is one option, or you can add a separately installed module on the ASA device. Like this is the second option I said, the second option where you can have a, an ASA firewall added with images. So you can have, you can have added the image either in the form of software or the hardware. So the ASA with Firepower services. So technically we call this as ASA with Firepower services. So whenever you say ASA with Firepower services, uh, there will be some models with Firepower services, which means you need to understand that the ASA is the physical hardware added with a Firepower module in the form of hardware or the software. Or you can go with a dedicated FTD device. FTD Again, again, this comes in physical or virtual. We'll talk about that. So when you talk about Cisco Firepower devices, these are the devices options. Uh, mostly here, we don't use this legacy option because this is actually a legacy source file image which do not support the ASA features. So we either use the ASA with Firepower services or we use a dedicated device called FTD. So the combination, we call it as FTD because there are some few terminologies we'll be using like FTD or FMC. FMC is again the management. FTD is actual device or if you see Firepower. Uh, Firepower is actually a next generation firewall services. So you can add that on a physical hardware. That's what the FTD provides or you can add it in the form of a module. 